Hey guys, I'm the creator of Cybergate and today I'm going to show you how I play my game. So uh, right press to hold balls and you can paint them on the ground. And they're going to lift buildings and it has many purposes that I'm going to explain later. So I just keep painting the ground. And you're going to get some upgrades later on. So you can get stronger, uh, you can grab capacity by one, or you can make the balls last longer. Let's go with uh, grab more balls. So we have here two balls, let's grab them. So now it's really fast. Oh, we got a rare one, so we can magnetize the balls. So they go from really far away. Let's keep converting some buildings. And we got another one. So a ball circle around the character. Let's see how that works. So they kind of get stuck right now. We might need to get another upgrade that solves that. <laughs> I threw my dice away. So um, as you can see in the right bottom corner, um, it's 20 by 10. So we are holding too much. And we can get strength upgrades to solve that later. Um, so right now we got a really nice one, boss, boss pass through, and that's how it works. The ball can pass through the buildings, as you can see, and you never lose them again. And it's it's much easier, believe me. So you can just paint on top of your buildings. You can go through your buildings and paint the ball. Let's get the vision upgrade. So the vision upgrade allows you to see farther away. Like that. Get some dice. Oh, I want to show you the hammer. So just hold the hammer the way you hold the balls. And to break the enemy buildings, you have to swing it. So. As you can see, the, the strength is not enough, so it's red on the right corner. So the strength will help you swing the hammer faster. You can also get some more destruction on the hammer. We can disable or enable circling balls with C, or we can disable the pass-through. Let's enable pass through so it's much easier. But there are times you might want to see if we don't. So I want to get strength, but I'm not lucky. So I'm gonna I'm gonna revolve the dice that I collected. And we got strength, that's really nice. And let's see if the hammer is easier. Yeah, it's easier to swing. And he has a lifetime, so can only be used for five five hits maximum. This is the pink hammer I cannot use. But I can throw it away. So the pink cannot use it. That's nice. We are getting really lucky with our hammers. Let's make the pink guy mad. Nice. So this is the new feature that I added. So UFO and how it works. If you touch, if you touch your building, it's gonna rise, rise the building, and it gives you five times the points that that building give give you before. Wow, we got another one. That's nice. 
we actually need to increase the vision. We are really short on the vision. That's another really lucky color. And my Oh, nice. Let's, let's see. And he released a lot of balls. So that's, that's, we can catch that. And we got another map extension. Yeah, that is really good. This, so once, once you grab the balls, they can pass through the building. So basically, they don't get stuck anymore, and it just converts a lot of buildings. You can like convert inside. And later on, if you get the circling ball upgrades, then it's it's really really broken. Let's see if we can get that. Wow, nice! So ball circle around the character. Found some balls. Another circle around you. And they just pass through the, the terrain and it's really, really okay. OP. Just walk and they'll circle. And it looks really cool. Wow, we got a lot of buildings floating. Right now they make holes on the terrain. And it's it looks cool, but um I'm still deciding. Let's make that alien touch the building. Let's make some tall buildings here. That should be enough. And let's stand. And the alien is gonna rise. It's kind of stuck right now. Good. And we're gonna rise. That's really nice. Let's see all the four things. There's some balls here and some dice you can get. Nice. Another dice. There's another building floating. If you have two color balls, you can just keep painting them, keep painting them, and they're gonna go bigger and bigger. So as you can see, it's really big. We almost reached, yeah, we reached the, the floating ice line, floating blocks. That's really cool.
you can try the game and enjoy it. Thanks very much.